a meeting bringing together ODM leader, his troops and the clergy in Westlands. Some of my colleagues were here. The cost of living politics dominating the conversation as Kenyans were reminded that come 2027, they should use wisdom when voting in leaders as the current state of the economy is attributable to bad choices. One after another, they called on Raila Odinga to maintain his silence. Baba tulie nyuma. Mwetoanda kumutafuta nini wa Kenya was tunata kuskia mlimani kule kwanza wajalia badu. Kule mlimani awajalia badu. Tunangoje hiyo ndio tuambie baba <clears throat> kwanzia upande kila pembe umeshika sasa kina umana. Even those who did not vote for him now they are crying for him. Those in government claiming that all was well in the running of the country's affairs were not spared either. Those are fools living in a lie. The ODM chief was asked to keep off the bipartisan report should the cost of living miss from the final report. Kama hiyo report haina mambo ya cost of living kurudisha gharama ya maisha chini usiweke sahihi. So baba right now I get phone calls and I don't know I was actually going to talk to the SG and ask him. I get phone calls from people saying that their children are still in jail from the demonstrations. Nikiwa bado katibu mkuu wa chama nitakukumbusha ya kwamba wakati ambapo chama kilihitaji usimame na wananchi wa Kenya wewe ulikataa kusimama na wananchi. Kwa hivyo mimi usiniingize kwa vitu yako. Kila mtu afanye nini? Abebe mzigo wake na msalaba wake. On his part, Odinga wants the 2022 election audit to remain as top priority while questioning why IABC is yet to put public final constituency results that was used to declare the president more than a year ago. County ya kuna retani officer, retani officer yuko kwa constituency. Ajashapisha ali ali ali, ali ogopa kufanya Nairobi gubernatorial politics also took center stage as leaders fronted Westland's MP Tim Wanyonyi to face Governor Sakaja Hedon in the 2027 elections. But in 2027, we all know Tim Wanyonyi has decided he wants to run for governor of Nairobi. Sisi wote tutasumama na buwana Wanyonyi. Odinga for the first time admitting that Azimio picked a weak candidate to face Governor Sakaja instead of Tim Wanyonyi who was seeking the seat then. Governor atoku pata, si kwa sababu atoku wana watu. Na hii ni kalim di candidate ilikuwa na hii. Ni hae kwa sawa. Na mimi mwenyewe ni najuta kwa sababu mimi ndiyo ni nambiwa ni mwabia Tim Awache. Odinga, however, slammed those focusing on 2027 politics, demanding that they should first deliver to Kenyans. Some legislators, he said, were keen on 2027, but are yet to utter a word in parliament since the election a year ago. Mugini ni mjumbe. Ata ajaongea katika bunge. Yileke hiko kwa Hansard. Anasema nitaka kwa governor. Nitaka kwa governor. Wewe unyefanya kazi kama mjumbe ionekane kama wewe unaweza. Unaanza kungangania mambo ya ugavana. Martin Opio K24 TV Nairobi.